Hello, my dear Cancer. Welcome back to the Lucky Tarot. This is your love and general relationship reading for the period of April 11 until the 20th. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising Cancer signs. If these messages do resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate that from you all. But if they don't resonate, go ahead and check your Jupiter, Mercury, and Venus signs for more accurate reading. So, Cancer, let's see what's going on for you guys. To start things off, we're going to get one card from this deck. Later on, we're going to proceed with your main energies. Spirit Angels Universe, give us one card for Cancer. What do they need to know in love and relationship for the period of April 11 until the 20th? Alright, so we have Message in the Bottle. I've been having this for other signs. I feel like, um, I think Virgo. But I feel like with message in a bottle, obviously it's a, it's a different vibe that I got from you guys, okay? It could mean that finally someone is going to return your message. Someone is finally going to try to meet you halfway to communicate with you back. If for a time this person has been out of touch, you know, Cancer... I feel like period of April 11th to the 20th, there's going to be some wonderful message of inspiration. It could mean that this person is going to give you a call or email you, you know, or just, you know how it feels when someone relays a message through a common friend? It could mean that, see, I got to be honest, this is the vibe that I got cancer. It could mean that you have been, haven't been really in touch with this person. It could be that the last word was from you and they didn't really communicate with you back. But because they didn't communicate with you in the past, they knew that they left it a bit on an awkward state, you know. And, and so they managed to pass a message from a friend or they could have put it on a random email, random status on social media. And you know how it feels when you know that that message is for you? It's it's really intended for you. So it could be enough to get your attention or it could make you feel like, well, not really shocked, but a bit surprised, you know, a bit surprised to hear that kind of message out of nowhere. So I feel like it's the return of something. I, I don't feel like it's a reconciliation of some sort, but sh but just knowing that What's up with this person's life? What have been do they've been doing? You know who who have they been meeting? Something like that. It doesn't necessarily mean your romantic interest, but someone who you haven't been really in touch lately. Okay, so let's see what this message in a bottle is all about. We're going to be using the everyday witch tarot deck for your main energies, and later on, Cancer. Before we end this video, I'm going to read to you what the booklet has to say regarding this oracle card. So I'm going to cut the deck and we're going to start. first card we have the empress wow it could be a news about pregnancy just saying um or just abundance you know something is about to grow to blossom to expand it's a wonderful news in general we also have ace of pentacles wow what is going on cancer this could really be um Someone that will bring a message of fortune regarding money, maybe. Or like I mentioned, a news about pregnancy of some sort. Um, we also have Four of Cups. We have the Five of Swords. We also have the Seven of Cups. A lot of Cups. And then we have the Eight of Wands. Bottom of the deck. Look at that. <laughs> Cancer, Ace of Cups. I love it. Um, you know what? I feel like, um, I gotta be honest, I feel like, I feel like really this could be someone trying to reconcile with you, trying to reach out to you, but they're a bit, they're a bit um, reserved, conservative. They're afraid to go all out, okay? They've been trying to gauge your actions as well. I feel like this person had a lot of realization. This person also matured and grew in the process where that time they weren't really talking to you or in touch with you. And so with the Ace of Cups, they have a different mindset. Something has changed with this person. Okay? 
They could have realized your worth and your value. They could have realized that they want another chance, that they want their friend back, that they want the love of their life back maybe, or that they want to be back in your life in general. But this is really someone coming forward, communicating. It could be in subtle signs. I see Dove over here. It could be a message of peace. You know, you, you may have had some misunderstanding with this person in the past, the way that you left things off was a bit awkward because they knew that they could have said things, they could have done things, they could have made you felt in a certain type of way. And for cross watchers, I gotta say, please feel free to reverse the roles because this is a general love reading. And so time really served the two of you. The moment that that this person walked away and you walked away and pursued other directions in your life, that moment in time that you both were not in each other's lives served its purpose. It may be because too much time has passed and you realize, hey, maybe I could forgive this person. Maybe it's time to reconcile. Maybe I could really accept that offer of, of cup, okay, and see where this leads. I feel like the two of you overall have a very, <laughs> look at that, Queen of Cups. This is definitely your suit, Cancer. You being the Queen of Cups here, your cup is indeed overflowing. I feel like that time you both went through a lot of emotional um, realizations, okay? You both transform when you both uh, left each other's lives. I'll put it that way, okay? I'll put it that way. You both realize you know, that you are better people now. You became better because of what ha has happened in the past. So with the Queen of Cups, the two of you are both ready to accept the friendship or reconnect, reconcile. And I feel like a harmony is going to take place. You both are in different pages right now. All right? Both really enlightened versions of you. A beautiful, beautiful um, connection is going to take place here. So... The, the key word here is that you have to see it. You have to take advantage of, you know, that message if you're going to hear it, if you're going to see it posted somewhere in social media or this person may be giving you a random phone call. Um, if you want to take it, it's yours for grab, okay? And maybe you're going to start things in motion, eight of wands. So, yeah, it could also be a message of pregnancy, but there's a lot of wonderful news that I see with your spread, Cancer. Um, even though there's a Five of Swords energy here, all in all, it's a beautiful energy. I feel like money-wise, money is going to come in. There could be a news about work, good news about your business. Things are finally going to expand. Uh, your income is finally going to come flowing in. Or that's something that you've been working on lately, okay? A dream, um, your craft. There is something really a big, big growth that's going to take place. If for a while things were stuck, things weren't really growing in, in that area of your life, you, you're starting to master something. Finally, something is coming to fruition. And so with the Empress card, I see you taking charge of the situation. I see you manifesting your inner feminine um, power. This season is all about you rising to that occasion and taking charge, taking in control, knowing that you are blessed in so many ways. The abundance that you have is not really something that's random. I feel like you've been putting the effort in for a while now. So I see that the person is aware of that. This person that's going to reconnect with you, that's the reason why they feel gravitated towards communicating with you back is because they see that perhaps you're open as well to receiving the message that maybe this time around something is going to grow. As you can see, the Empress is, we don't know if this is pregnancy, but something is growing. Something is, she's going to about to give birth into something really beautiful. And such as her luscious garden, I feel like from a period of maybe dryness from the relationship. Okay, like I said, it's going to be a message of inspiration. It's going to give birth to something here. And so with the Ace of Pentacles, Ace and Ace, two Aces double confirmation that this is going to be a wonderful beginning so yeah the two of you are about to offer something really really beautiful to each other here could be a random gift okay could be um i see two really people two i don't want to say it, it is a love reading okay so i feel like you both are still in love with each other i see that really and so 
I see emotions going to develop. I see the two of you really ready to take this to the next level once again. Um, emotions could be really forming really fast, really quick with the Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. But it's in the initial status, stages, okay? It's, it's still a seed. It, it hasn't really taken its complete form just yet. The Empress, it's a sudden burst of energy, right? From a period of nothing is happening, like you mentioned, a sudden burst of energy. However, it's too premature to say where the direction is going. So I feel like it's completely up to you and to this person. How you're going to nurture this new beginning? How you're going to uh, follow through this message, this communication that has, again, been open for the two of you? If for a while you both maybe have lost each other's contact numbers, um, I see that, sorry for that, I see that period of April 11th to the 20th, communication can be really, really smooth as long as you both make the effort to do so. So I see with the Five of Swords, this is a, really a past situation. There could have been a lot of confusion in the past, and I know I don't really want to mention past energies. I feel like you you guys are aware of that. But just in, along with this reading, it shows up to remind you something really important. Um, of course, you you would you would feel at first reluctant because you feel like maybe this person could be having the wrong intentions. You know, it could be based on ego, the need to the need to prove something, something like that with the Five of Swords. But I feel like really, this could be really a really past energy. I kept saying really. Um, this person is determined to prove to you. And I think that you're also open to prove to them that you both are changed people. There has been a huge transformation while you both are away from each other. And so I see that you may have dated someone new, Cancer, or this person could have dated other people. But you see, at the end of the day, it almost feels like you both know your chapter hasn't truly ended. If this is not your love interest, then I feel like this person could have tried to, you know, um, meet a new group of people, circle, or people that they trust. But at the end of the day, they don't really feel satisfied because no one can replace you, Cancer. <laughs> no one is just quite like you. And I feel like you also mirror the, the same kind of realization when you both were not in touch with each other. And so you both experimented a lot you took the time to discover what else was out there and so after doing all of that after going in different direction and experiment experimenting in different relationships maybe or friendships you both finally took the liberty to decide once and for all you know you set something here in motion and maybe you you also realize that you did your time to experiment and you are just really tired of having to prove um, that you can meet other people or meet new friend or that you can replace this person in your life and vice versa. So it could even mean like going online, social dating, you know, try to meet other people, but ended up uh, just, just in the wrong intention. Someone here clearly could have done that. They could have went online, you know, did some online dating, but obviously it wasn't really honoring their heart because they just wanted to prove something here. But that was already in the past. And I felt like at the end of the day, you both realized nothing compares to what you both have. Nothing do compare to what you both have had in the past. And it could be something wonderful and new and completely different from what you both had in the, in the past, okay? It could be something more amazing, more fulfilling, more emotionally balanced for the two of you. Um, I do see here the temperance card, as you can see. So you both have learned from your mistakes. You both know what ticks each other off, what pisses each other off, what the other person doesn't like, you know, and what, what issues you had in the past that you both, um, those could have been the issues that you didn't really see that could break you two apart, but with the temperance card, you heal that part, you learn from that, and now you know that balance is is key, give and take, understanding each other's point of view, their back, your backgrounds, um, where you guys are coming from, and learning how to blend in, okay? I feel like temperance is asking you to always come from a place of love, Cancer, even though that situation in the past was something really um, provoking and really could have well, something here could have really turned you off in the past. But I felt like 
that was over and done with. You're ready to take on a whole new chapter. And it's completely up to you to give this person another chance. Okay? And it's completely up to them as well if they're going to follow through with this um, Ace of Cups that they're trying to offer you. So that is your reading to end this message. I'm going to read to you what the booklet has to say regarding message in a bottle. Just because it gives a more detailed information, Cancer. Okay, so it says here. Um, communication, a sign pointing the way to your highest good. Says your cancer, you can expect someone to favor you with positive news. This could be in the form of a letter, phone call, or email. You are the intended receiver of this message. So stay open to what you learn. Only good will come of it in the end. The signs are all there. Exactly, the signs are all there. So cancer, um, yeah, it, really, it will really come to you so randomly. It could even be just a song coming in the radio you know or a, a post from social media this person has uh, posted something that's gonna give you a confirmation that's gonna point you in the right direction so keep your eyes and your ears on a spiritual level open because this person will just give you the right sign that you need to give the answer okay so the reply is gonna be definitely favorable so just keep your eyes really aware to what's gonna come this April 11 to the 20th. Overall, it's positive news. So that is your reading, Cancer. Please give this video a thumbs up if it resonates. Sending you guys love and light, and I'll talk to you soon.